Hi there and welcome along. Today I've been asked to talk to you about thigh strains or more specifically that pain that you've got right in the centre of your leg, probably somewhere between your hip and your knee. Uh, thigh strain is really common, obviously more of a uh, sports type injury, particularly for let's say somebody involved in uh, football or rugby or maybe even tennis or uh, cricket. So they're definitely a sports injury but it doesn't just have to be that, it can often be that your foot lands wrongly and you're trying to protect yourself and your muscle tightens up and it can cause a strain. So uh, not just for sports injuries, certainly for uh, anybody who's active or has just had a bit of an accident or a trauma so today uh, we'll talk about what a thigh strain is uh, why it can be a problem to you in your life not just necessarily from the pain but also from a restriction point of view and uh, we'll also look at how physio can help you uh, first i'll just introduce you to myself that's me um or more recently uh, my career took me to darlington and middlesbrough football clubs here in the northeast and also over to uh, america to work with paul schools of manchester united um, at his soccer camps over there in the USA. So as you can imagine, uh, thigh strains are, are really, really common in, in sports, so uh, quite familiar to me. So the real problem with thigh strains, um, a thigh strain, the problem with it, it develops this thing called scar tissue. Um, if you have a quick look at the image on the left, that's a, obviously an image of your, of your body. We've sort of highlighted the thigh area in particular, the major muscle that gets damaged, particularly let's say football or rugby where you strike a ball, or even in sprinting, you, you've sort of pushed off a little bit too quickly and that muscle in the thigh is tightened up. Now what happens is this scar tissue gets settled into the thigh and it's actually really, really stiff. Um, and if you're not careful, your thigh can end up too stiff, too tight there's no movement in it and it can lead to a lot of problems with re-injury sort of three four five six weeks later so you think that that muscle's recovered the initial pain that you've suffered is gone but this thigh is too tight now and it can cause lots of problems later on so we'll talk to you about a thigh strain um, and the major sort of complications of it and how you can help yourself as we go along uh, first let's confirm that you've got a thigh strain you've got a sharp pain in the front of your leg um, you probably felt it immediately something will happen you've sprinted or you've kicked a football and you felt that initial sharp pain in the front of your thigh um, it hurts when you stretch or when you sprint or when you kick now that could be even now you could be watching this video and you could be a month down the line from injury and if it still hurts when you stretch it still hurts when you sprint and it still hurts when you go to kick a football or a rugby ball um, you've still got a problem with your thigh um, and it's, as i say three to four weeks later you're still getting these problems so that's not uncommon for a thigh strain or a thigh problem so um, if that's you um, you're watching the right video um, and one more thing with thigh strains you can get what is called bruising and bleeding happening in the thigh you damage this muscle when you tear a muscle or you sprain a muscle or you, you whatever you want to call it it just basically means that the fibers that make up that muscle have been torn and when they get torn, it causes pain, it causes swelling, it causes bleeding and bruising. Now, um, one of the problems that we see, um, I've highlighted it there where the star area is, and that's a common area high up on the thigh for this muscle to be damaged, but this bruising and bleeding actually tracks down more towards the knee, and it's the reason that it can feel painful down towards your knee as well. So um, just there, I've highlighted it for you. So I'll talk to you about that as well. Um, so what is it? It's a tear of the muscle fibers. Um, technically, they're called the quadriceps because you've got four muscles in that thigh area. Um, so somewhere between your knee and your hip, um, torn or strained, like I said, doesn't really matter, it means the same thing, um, it's just different terminology, it just basically means that the fibres that make up one of those muscles in your quad or your thigh area have been damaged, um, and the fibres are usually stretched too far or too fast, so let's say you're going for a run or you've sprinted or you've pushed off, you haven't warmed up properly, you're running around Gisborough or Darlington or Hartlepool or uh, wherever you're from, or you've kicked the football on a Sunday morning, it's early into the game, you haven't warmed the muscle up properly, it's freezing cold in the middle of winter and you've gone to kick that football and the thigh muscle just isn't ready. And as you stretch, as you bring your, your leg back ready to kick it, and your knee comes back and your heel sort of comes up towards your bum in, in a strike position, that quadricep is under the most tension it's possibly likely to be. Um, and if that happens too fast uh, and your muscle can't control it, you're in uh, trouble and it's likely to cause a thigh strain. The best way I can explain it to you to understand it is think of an elastic band. If you stretch an elastic band at one end, and pull it at the other somewhere in the middle you're going to have this tension and it's likely to fray it could snap and the quadriceps do snap and it's uncommon but they can snap but more often than not it'll fray and the fray or the tension is usually where you'll get that tear somewhere between your hip and your knee happening in that thigh muscle or in one of those quadricep muscles so why do you get the pain and the restriction well the fibers are torn and anything that you tear is going to cause you pain but the swelling leads you to be immobile that can cause you pain as well because there's so much extra fluid in there the bleeding the bruising all of that increases the pressure and if the pressure increases that causes you pain but the swelling is there really 
to be um, to cause you to be immobile. It needs you to stop. It needs you to have four or five days of rest to get the scar tissue back in there, to get the strength, to get this sort of glue, as we as we call it, um, happening in the muscle. And that scar tissue is what I was mentioning earlier. The best way to understand start a scar tissue is if you damage something at home, you'd probably try and use a glue or cement or something really strong to keep it back in place. Um, so when you damage the fibers of this quadriceps muscle, this scar tissue or this glue or this cement is happening every day. And if it doesn't get trapped or it doesn't get encouraged to heal raw, uh, to heal right, um, you'll end up with this problem, like I mentioned earlier, where this muscle will become so stiff and so tight. So the problem that you've got now is not that your quadricep muscle isn't healed, it's actually healed wrong and it's too stiff and it's too tight. In the beginning, it's painful and weak. A month down the line, if you're watching this video, a month after you've damaged your thigh, it's more than likely that that quad is now really stiff and really tight and that swelling and that bruising and bleeding that you've had from day one just isn't going anywhere and it's stuck somewhere in that quad and, and that's the reason that you'll get the pain every time that you probably go above half pace running you go to sprint you go to kick a football and you'll get the pain so importantly how can physio help well it's a really common injury in um in sports so as you can imagine we see lots of them uh, we can help you for this injury you have to get hands-on treatment there's nothing else you can do with these muscles um it is the number one thing that you need you need really really deep tissue massage around the quads um, we need a good explanation or we'll give you a good explanation of what's actually happened relevant to you so if you're a footballer obviously it's going to be slightly different to a person watching this video who's a walker or a runner or somebody who plays badminton or squash so we'll tell you exactly what you need to do to get back to the sport that you want to be involved in and we'll also give you exercises to help yourself at home and have a quick look at the image on the left that's a typical sort of exercise that we would give a person looking to try and strengthen these quads it's great for balance great for hamstring great for glutes and it's also great for the quad muscles all of which are important if you're trying to recover from a thigh strain uh, and for me uh, the real value for money if you're coming or you're thinking about seeing a physio you want to know when it's safe for you to return not when it's okay to return when it's safe to return and there's a big difference uh, you want to know that when you go back to your sport in three or four weeks time that it's safe to do so you're not going to be back in the treatment table uh, a week or so later so uh, you can come into us as soon as you can for, for treatment and help in brief it's probably going to take three to four weeks three or four sessions of physio uh, and your physio will be made up of really deep massage lots of stretching and some really great home exercises for you to do at home uh, where are we we're in darlington durham uh, gisborne and hartlepool where our physio clinics are uh, that's uh, an image that you're looking at right now is from one of the insides um is on the inside of our hartlepool clinic actually um we always offer this as well i wanted to make you aware of this get your session free if physio can't help so if it turns out that, that it isn't a thigh strain or it's something that there's nothing that we can help it with one of the other things it could be is a um, is a back injury with a nerve type problem it's uncommon but it, it's possible uh, and we will rule that or rule, rule it in or rule it out for you when you come in for physio anyway um, but if it turns out that we can't help or there's nothing that we can do if for example it's completely ruptured and, and we say that you might need to see a specialist then uh, you'll get your session free with us and uh, to book you need the number is 0800 043 867 one that gets you through to us um, and just before you go i'll just show you one or two little images inside our clinics that's um, inside live inside from the cameras of, uh, of our gisborne clinic uh, the staff that uh, we employ are always really active they're really fun they're really outgoing and friendly and uh, we do lots of these activities that we recommend to you things like yoga and pilates and that there is a yoga class that we do in-house every week for our staff so um, that's in the hartlepool clinic and that's also the image that you're looking at that's vicky uh, she's one of the secretaries receptionists that you could get through to talk to she's looking after some of the clients that come in and visit us there in the hartlepool clinic so um just to recap you definitely need hands-on treatment for this thigh strain if if this is what you've got you need a great explanation of the injury relevant to you so we'll try and get you back to walking or running or the spot that you love to do as quickly as possible you're going to need some great exercises to do at home and you need to know when it's safe to return to the spot that you want physio can definitely help you if you want all of that and to book your session with us you need 0800 043 8671 is the number we're in darlington durham gisborough and hartlepool that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll speak to you soon.